My name's Amrit Nam. I listen to the Seeknet stories every day. Download the app to enjoy them all. The Patience of the Ancient One Eventually, true wisdom will be bestowed onto you. One day shall come a great incarnation by the name of Siri Guru Arjan Dev. It is he who shall recover you and bless you with his darshan. This story teaches us about patience. It happened during the time of Guru Arjan Dev, the fifth Guru. A king had just donated land to the Guru to be used for spiritual purposes. Guruji recognized right away that a divine plan was unfolding. We will dig a sarovar, a sacred pool for pilgrimage. My father himself initiated the project with his own hands. So they went to the forest, but they couldn't find the spot. I thought it was over here. Maybe it was over there. Where is it? After a long time, they didn't know what to do. They started losing their patience. We'll never find the spot. It's just all jungle. Eventually, Guruji came to help. Standing under a rosewood tree, he closed his eyes. And he could feel how special this place was. Near here. Ah, just over there, we will start digging. Everyone came and started the work. Day after day, some Sikhs dug with shovels. Others carried the dirt outside, and they all chanted together. Satnam Guru, Satnam Guru. Satnam Guru, Satnam Guru. The seva went on for days. As more days passed, people started making huts to live in so they could be there all the time. The days turned into weeks, and the digging just kept going. Even though it's difficult, we are so blessed. While doing this sacred work, we get to learn from Guru Sahib. Bin Santok Nahiko Raj. Without patience, there is no satisfaction. Wahiguru. The sacred pool already seemed large enough. After months of difficult effort, they finally asked, Guruji, we have dug a large area, and it seems pretty big for a sarovar. Is it enough now? Keep digging. So they kept going, and they didn't lose their patience. Guruji himself would participate and work the land with his own hands. And people would occasionally ask again and they would get the same answer. Keep digging. And so they obeyed and they kept their patience. And then something happened. Something strange and amazing. As they were digging, they found an underground structure. What is this? So they ran and told the Guru. We've discovered an enclosure. Ah, an enclosure. It's been sealed with a big boulder. Guruji went to that spot and had them remove the boulder. And guess what they found? Someone was meditating inside. It looks like an old Munni. He's perfectly still. I wonder if he's alive. The ancient yogi who was meditating there was in a deep state of samadhi. 
His hair was totally white. His body looked old, beyond old. And yet his skin was glowing. And he sat there perfectly still. Guruji said, Combine butter with saffron. Use that mixture to massage the body of this being. They slowly massaged the ancient one's feet and hands, then the top of his head, where the tenth gate is located. And slowly, slowly, the warmth came back into his body. Oh wow, I think I saw him move. The ancient being slowly awakened and realized that many years had passed since he brought all of his life force to his tenth gate and gathered it there. With great effort, he started moving his tongue as his mind began to reawaken. He carefully and slowly awakened his body and mind. For the first time in a very long time, the Ancient One spoke. Wow. What age is this? Baba Buddhaji folded his hands and answered, You must be from a previous age. We are in the Kali Yuga, the Dark Age, which started 5,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then the Ancient One saw the Guru. Who, who is it whom I behold before me? What is his name? What is his spiritual status? Please tell me everything. Then I will share with you why I am here. You behold the great Guru whose understanding is greater than the Buddha. He is the savior and he sits on the throne of Nanak. Guru Nanak, the very source of light, came to the Kali Yuga, taught Satnam and awakened many worlds wherever he stepped. The ancient being was listening with sharp attention after Nanak, Guru Angad expanded the path of the six. Then Guru Amar Das created many devotees. Next, Guru Ram Das continued to destroy ignorance and bestow liberation. Then the throne of Nanak went to his son whom you are in the presence of. This is Siddhi Guru Arjan Dev, the fifth physical body of this light, this jyot. Oh, it's him. It's really him. My Siddhi Guru Arjan Dev, I've spent so much time thinking about you. The Ancient One was in great bliss. O oh, pure yogi, please tell us your story. Everyone really wants to hear it. Ah, yes. The Ancient One told his story. It was a story of great devotion and great patience. A long time ago, I mastered many yogic practices. That is why you are seeing me now. I was a great devotee of my master. Oh, my master. I did so much seva for him. He was so wise. He obtained the ability to understand the past, present, and future. 
once I asked him, Master, may I obtain liberation in this lifetime? And my master said, Liberation? Hmm. I will bless you such that you will be able to meet the giver of liberation by granting your body deathlessness. Make an enclosure, sit in it, and wait. Thusly, you will patiently wait in Samadhi, as I have previously taught you. Then, a huge amount of time shall pass until the Kalyug arrives. Eventually, true wisdom will be bestowed onto you. One day shall come a great incarnation by the name of Siri Guru Arjan Dev. He will establish a place of pilgrimage right here. And when he does that, it is he who shall recover you from your samadhi and bless you with his darshan. Then you will finally obtain completion. Then he instructed me to ask you all my questions. Everyone was amazed to hear of such an ancient prophecy and to see such a person who was many thousands of years old with their very own eyes. Even though all this earth has piled on top of me, somehow I survived. Now it is time for me to be liberated. Great Guru, you give all blessings. I am under your refuge. He bowed to the Guru. I may be old, but my mind is very young. I am ready to learn. After so long, he finally asked his questions of the Guru. We all know what the Brahmatma is, but what really is it? Oh, and the unstruck melody is related to the state of Brahmatma, isn't it? He asked many deep questions. The Divine Guru spent a lot of time carefully explaining, with patient detail, the truths of the universe. And after the great discourse, the ancient yogi was happy. True knowledge has blossomed in my heart. All my doubts have been destroyed. I am ready to leave my body. My life is now complete. Guruji smiled. You are great, and you have obtained great understanding. Indeed, his patience had been proven for ages. And now was the perfect time. Guruji saw his determination and was happy. He turned to Baba Buddhaji and said, I fully support his wish. Now fulfill his prayer. Sit with this great being. Join him in meditation and show him the way. Baba Buddha went and sat next to the pure yogi and they both went into samadhi. But this was different than the samadhi the yogi had been in for thousands of years. It was deeper, deeper and more profound. His face was shining brightly. People would come in and take turns, looking at the marvel of this final meditation. What a great being the world has now seen. He shines with such a light. The atmosphere was out of this world. Finally, his life force departed from his physical body, and the Ancient One's soul left this earth to be in the lap of the infinite. The 
the Sangat showered flowers upon the body of the Ancient One. And Guruji said, This spot is now confirmed as a sacred place. Guru Arjan Dev continued to build sacred bathing sites. Each sarovar that Guruji built offers us a unique virtue. Bathe here at Santoksara to wash away your past mistakes and obtain the blessing of patience. And the Guru says, Sachmale Santokhya Harjap Eke Pai Those patient souls who meditate on the Lord with single-minded love meet the true Lord. Don't miss the next story. Press subscribe.